Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. So, I wanted to talk about comic book grading. Um, I grade really harshly. Um, so, if I send them in to the comic book grading companies, I know that I'm going to get back the grades that I want. Um, there's many different ways to do it, but I wanted to talk about what to look for in new books. So, if you're out there buying new books, uh, and you're picking through them and a lot of people don't like you going through all the books, but if you're really picky um, You this is what you need to look for. Okay now I'm gonna be doing this with filming this in 4k and Under extreme light and be very picky on these I've got five different books and I've got multiple copies of them So I want to show you what to look for in the modern age of combo grading a lot of people are getting newer books graded and trying to flip them really fast and make some money because you know grading companies take a long time to get back to you now but I want to show you what to look for and what your options are in regard to getting your books graded how to look at a book the right way um, so you're looking for nine eights um, nine sixes maybe with a possibility with a press to be a nine eight but mostly what to look for and how to do it um, this is only for new books okay they're that are fresh and it's really hard to find I'm going to show you how hard it is to find a 9.8 right at your comic book store because usually they get damaged in shipping and stuff like that I'll show you a bunch of examples and I hope you might learn something but definitely follow these uh, rules of thumb or however you want to call it and I think you're going to do well so let's get to it okay so here's the first book okay um, I have two of these and we're gonna go through it. I mean, take a quick look. It looks, I mean, it looks pretty good. Um, so what we're gonna do is, now when you're thinking about getting books graded, okay, just be real careful with them, holding them. Some people use gloves, whatever. I'm not that freaky, um, but I'll show you what I found on this book, okay? So um, the top, the top is fine. Um, Let's see here. I'll try to do these quick. The top is fine. I don't see any issues, okay? But then, you know, you follow down the spine. Everything looks clean. There's no no issues on the spine that I can see. Um, but then we get down to the bottom here. Look, right there, under the light. Do you see the little indention? Okay. Then uh, bottom left, two inches, there's another one right there, see it? Right here. So simple. Center spine, two inches, let's see here. See that? It's ridiculous, but it's there. There's a little, little, little thing right here. Let's flip it around. This looks pretty good here, but then we have uh, right there, you see it? And the, the bottom staple has a little, so I mean, I'm being super picky guys, but uh, the other, everything else is good. And then this right here. Now I've seen that on other books, see it? It's just like a little paper. Paper. I don't feel it, but you can see it. it. Let's see if we can get it better. It could be the art, but I feel like it's the paper. So, I mean, as I said, I'm pretty picky. So I would give this book a 9.4, okay? But basically, that's what near mint is. If you, 9.4 is near mint, 9.6 is near mint plus, 9.8 is near mint plus, or mint or near mint plus mint and then uh, a 92 of course is near mint minus so when you see auctions on eBay it says near mint you're gonna get something like this okay now this will come out with a press these little issues will come out with a press so I mean you might be able to press this book maybe into a 98 but I don't, I'm not playing that game so let's move on to the next one Okay, here's the next one. And you're like, oh, look, it's the same book, okay? No, not really. So, 
let's see here. Everything was good on the top, if I remember. Something about the bottom left again. Um, it looks good here. We'll double check. We'll see right here. You can see it, right? It doesn't break color, but it might be able to be pressed out. Okay. Let's check the back. I see something here. There's a ding. You see it? And I can't tell if it breaks color or not, but it's there. There's one. There's one. There's some issues, a little sharp little folding. Okay. Now, if I was a grader, they're looking at this and like high, high, super magnified, whatever, you know. Now, I'm not doing interior for this, but I mean, usually in a new book, you, you're not going to have any issues. You might have it the staples, but they're definitely white pages. Always take a look. Um, with all the issues on this, I'm giving it a 9.2, a near mint minus. Now, you guys might say, well, that book looks good to me, but like you got to really look. So let's move on to the next books. So here's the next book. It's that Middleton Aquaman 39. Not a lot of people got on it, um, but of course I've picked it up. So everything's clean on this book, right? It looks good. And let's see. Looks good. There's a little something right there. Now, you know, sometimes the graders let this stuff go. There's a little bit of something here, a little cornered issue. Let's see. Okay, here. So right here, the spine, okay? The back of it's coming through. That's not the front cover. That's the back, so it's a little bit of a spine roll from the back side, see? So this part has made its way over, okay? Now, a press can fix that. Uh, whether you want to mess with it or not, it's up to you. Uh, let's see. So then let's flip it over. You've got some a little bit of issues there. I mean, you really got to look at these books if you're considering trying to make a living out of this. <laughs> um, there's some. There's the spine dings, right? See it? You see it come out when you lift it up? There it is. Spine dings. And I can't tell. Then there's another thing. I was checking this book out. I opened it up to the, the, the uh, staples. And I found something interesting. You see like the tearing staple tear I know that they allow for a certain amount of staple tearing, but I just didn't like the way that was looking. So I was really harsh on this book. I put a near mint minus. And, you know, I mean, overall, I think it's a really nice book. Let's check the other one. All right, here's another one. This is the other one I have, okay? So, let's see. Sometimes you gotta really angle them and check them. There's no spine roll on this one. The other one, remember the spine roll? Okay, what's that? Look right there, you see it in the light? Right where the light's shining? There's a little bit of damage. That's possibly pressable. 
it's like someone flipped it, you know, flipped their finger through it. Um, let's see. There's a little bit of a corner issue. Like I said, I'm tough, guys, so. But you see it? You can see it, right? Let's see if I can get my finger there, because I can't really tell. Right there. Okay. Let's, let's turn it around. Now, I've been seeing this a lot on these books. Uh, right there. Now, I can't tell if that's... I think it's the, the comic itself. I don't think it's, but right here's a ding. You see it? <laughs> it's just, it's tough. Now this book has the same staples issues. I would probably give this book about a 9.4 though. It's in better condition, but I wouldn't be sending it to get graded. So let's move on. I don't want to take too long, but I want you to see what a 9.8 looks like. We're getting there. Okay, here we go. This is Justice League Dark 2, recently came out. Um, Sorry about the light. I'm trying to figure out the light right for you guys. But, uh, so, yeah, everything looks pretty good. Um, let's take a closer look. Right there. Do you see it? Right there. So, I think that could be pressed out. There's another one. It's hard on these dark colors. Let me go over here. Right there. You don't see it very well, but it's like finger mark. Right by the bat's face, about an inch to the right. See it? You can see it when I move it. It's like a little bit of a damage or something. There. Now, a press might get that out as well, so don't get me wrong. Uh, so that's okay. So let me look at this side. Everything's good on this side, but then, oh, there it is. You see it? It's in there. It's right above the staple. I don't think it breaks color, but it is what is it, it is. So I give this book like a 9.4. Um, you could probably press it to a 9.6, but I'm not going to send it in because I don't want to waste my money. Let's see the other one. Okay, here's my other copy of this book. Um, everything looks pretty good. Um, and, you know, you start to look and then boom. There, right there is a little spinding. Um, it's kind of deep. So, is that white? Does it look like it breaks cover? color kind of which really sucks you can see the tedious work of trying to figure out what's good and then I found this right there on the top you see the white against the white you see it right there that's actually a little cut Let's see if we can it's there, it's kind of hard to see, but it's there. So there's a little cut right there, which really sucks. That's a worse than anything else. Um, and then, I don't know if it's printer error or not, but let's see if I can see them. There's like these little spots on the book. Um, there's one right by the hand. See it? See it right there? It, It's there. I don't know if it's a printer thing. Let's see if I can see. There's one by the hand. Right there. Right where the light's on. Like scratches. So I wouldn't even send this one either. I mean, I'm see, this is getting tough. I'll give this a 9.2 to a 9.4 near mint. It's still a beautiful book. I mean, it hasn't even been opened. So... We're getting close though. Okay, All right, guys, we're closing in to this nine eight. Okay, so I have four more books. These are the t this. Is, I'm going to do these two right now. So I really looked over this book real well. It looks good. I mean, this regular like wavy stuff. That's normal. Uh, you don't really have to worry about that. Um, if you got it pressed, you're fine. But you know, and I would also suggest, you know, get it pressed. Why not? It's an option. 
do it. Um, it can only help, okay? If you really have done all this research and you're like, all right, I got a stack of nine eights, at least what I think is a nine eight, and you send it in, you get impressed, and then you get them graded, and you're gonna, I'm telling you, every time I get nine eights, I don't mess around. So, on this one, there, it's so minor, but on the corner, it just comes up a little bit, okay? Not a, not a huge deal, but it comes up. Let's see. Now, I checked over this book a lot. It's, it's pretty clean. Uh, there is, it looks like a little something here, but... It, I'm, I think it's just part of the book because it, there's no feeling to it because it's kind of all the way down it. Um, these could get pressed out easily. So I'm giving this a 9-6, okay? Possible candidate for a 9-8 now. If you're willing to roll the dice, you send this in and you get it pressed and cross your fingers and most likely you're going to get a 9-8 because look, I've seen books with damage. I mean, spine wear and come back a 9-8 and you're like, what? How did that happen? So the this book, uh, you know, that'll get pressed out, that little corner and that little spine stuff, and it'll flatten everything out. You should be able to get a 9.8 on this one, okay? So that's our <laughs> one of them. But I'm calling it a 9.6 for right now, near mint plus. We'll move on to the next one. Okay, here's the other copy. Um, you know, it has a little waves, but that can get pressed out, no problem. It's normal because of the ink and it's so dark. And I, there was no corner issues. There was nothing wrong with this book that I could find, even interior-wise, staples, stuff like that. But this, all that, that's spine roll, okay? That's, that's the art right there. Um, so it's just spine roll all the way. It's minor, but the press will get that out. So... After a press, you're looking at a 9.8. I'm still going to give it a 9.6 to 9.8. So it's a candidate, okay? All right, we got our last two, and I'll show you what a 9.8 looks like. Okay, here we go. We got Venom 155 variant, how to draw Venom, right? So I looked real close. Minor. I mean, that those sharp edges you usually don't have to worry about because they're just sharp edges. And they like that. They like sharp edges. So everything looks good, okay, on the front. I don't see any any issues at all. This book is lays flat. It's clean. It's very nice. So turn it around. That Usually when you get to the color part is when you find the little duties. <laughs> so uh, right here, bottom right. Now you can barely even tell. But it's got that little bit of a, like a print, uh, ink error, printing error, a little bit of a corner. I've seen these pass, no problem. Um, but if you get a press, you're looking good. And then, what was there, spine right? There's a little bit of a spine roll, see? Right there. A press should get that out. So I'm giving this a 9.6 to a 9.8. So, you send that in, get a press, you're most likely going to get a 9.8. So, the, my last book here is, out of all these books coming next, is a 9.8. I'm telling you right now, it's a 9.8. You don't have to do anything to it. But, you think of it, 1 out of 10 is a 9.8, okay? Um, at least in my mind in grading. Um, so, let's take a look at what that is. Alright, so out of all those books, this is the one. This is the one I found that would be considered a 9.8 um, in my mind, okay? So, let's look at it. Let's see if I can get better light. It is flat and clean all the way down. There's no issues with the spine. No dings, nothing. Sharp everything. Beautiful glossy cover, no real waves. Flip it around. Same on this side. 
nothing. Clean. Clean all the way. Let's check. I don't really want to mess with it too much because it's going to go in my 9-8 pile. When you're opening these, be really careful because you don't want to just... You don't want to open them if you don't have to. Interior's nice. Everything's fine. You can check the staples. I've already checked these. They're perfect. Um, there is nothing wrong with this book. There's no spindings, no nothing. So that is a 9-8. I would definitely... I would still get it pressed. But... Um, out of all the books that I just checked, this is the one I'm going to put away in my 9-8 stash or whatever. Um, all the rest are high grade and beautiful too. Um, and But that's, that's it. So I know it sounds crazy, okay? But if you're serious about this comic book thing and you want to grade in these times, you know, of you just want to send in new stuff um, and get them graded, you have to be this picky. You have to be. You might get lucky on some 9.6 to turn in 9.8. Sometimes I send 9.6s in, get impressed, they turn in 9.8s. So that's fine. But if you want to be real serious and you want to save your money correctly, do what I did. Get, find these books, get 15 of them. Now, if you're going to send a CGC, you can send a CGC or CBCS. Um, they're both good. I usually send a CGC. I have an account with them. And you can do a... Uh, if you do 15, you can get a quick press, which lowers the price for each book pressed by $4. So it's $8 to get a press and like 18 to get it graded. It's a lot of money. Plus the price of your book and shipping and blah, blah, blah. But you can turn the book for 100 bucks, You make some money. Now, if you find 25 of these books, right, and you think they're 9-8, and you say, forget it. I'm not going to get a quick press. I'm going to select what they have called you can pick, it basically is you pick what grade they are. And if the grade of the book is lower than what the grade you want, they just charge you $5 for looking at it, basically evaluating the book, and you don't get charged a complete grading fee. I have did that once before. I sent in 25 totally awesome hulks. I looked at them all. I did get them quick pressed, but, you know, I thought there were some 9.6s. But if you got not, 25 9.8s together, you can put in there, I only want 9, 8 or better. They will grade every book. If the grade for the book is less than 9.8, they will pack it back together and only charge you 5 bucks instead of the full 18. It's worth it, I think. Of course, when I did it, I got all back 9, 8. So that's worth looking at uh, if you're trying to guarantee yourself some stuff. I know this video was long, but I really guys, you know, wanted to help you guys out there who are really interested in the the big picture of the grading process. So I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next time. Okay, I'll let you go. Bye-bye.